All right, well, good morning. Well, I got a few minutes. I wanted to quickly film this video because you know I try to do one every day and things are changing. At the end of videos, I'm gonna do a yay or nay. So at the end of every video, I'm just gonna hold up a product. I'm gonna give you a very short yay or nay. So today we'll do two products just to give you an example as to how it goes at the end of the video. So today what I wanna to talk to you about is really cool free curriculum from Core Knowledge. But before we get into that, of course I have the products of the day. So yesterday I went into Storytime Chess to see my five-year-old who is very picky about everything in this world want to play chess is unbelievable. It's got a book in here and you open the book and you read the book and it has a story for every single character so that you remember how to move each character. It's just, it's a fascinating product. It's $39 and it could not be better spent. Like honestly, I, if it's under $10, if it's over $10, I really have to think about purchasing it. But this, I, you know, I took a chance and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Teaching chess is important merely because of the concentration and the focus and the, I guess the, the sportsmanship that you have as well. And I guess the critical thinking too, the critical thinking as well. Okay, so what I wanna to talk to you about, oh wait, another product of the day is, so Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs. The reason I wanna bring this up is because we're doing this theme that I think is kinda of cool. I'm gonna put all the books that I love on the website because I read about 50 to 100 bucks a week just for kids books. I've been doing it for years because I love it. I love it, but I love reading new books. I don't like reading books, the same books over and over again, although they're favorites, I do read again and again. Let me tell you what I'm thinking about is that, so we did Goldilocks and the Three Bears and now I'm reading different versions of that. So this is Goldilocks and the Three Dinosaurs just to see, I guess just to entertain myself. But one of the things Brave Writer talks about is taking a story and having them retell it back. It's very Charlotte Mason to have them, you know, explain it back to you. Like what happened in this story, for example, the three bears and have them orally explain it back to you or with Brave Writer, have it jot it down what they say. And then with those little books that I posted a million times about, they're just blank empty books and you get about 26 of them in a package. And then you can make your own story. So you jot it down for them word for word, no editing because when they're young, it's about creativity. It's about inspiring a love of learning because they need that for lifelong. So no editing, just jot it down, jot down what they're doing. It's almost why I think no grammar should be used when kids are really little because you just want the creativity, the joy of writing. So you just jot down their ideas and then they can draw pictures to match it and they've created a storybook. Now, another product is another book today. It's Unicorns Are the Worst. And why am I showcasing books? Because I told you, I read 50 to 100 a week, but that's not why, that's not what's important. What's important is for kids to have a love of reading, a love of it. So these are the most interesting stories for me and them is what I'm posting on the website. So you're not always gonna learn from these books. You're gonna learn, but that's not the primary importance. The primary importance when they're young is just to get them to love it. So yes, we have really cool educational books that I always talk about, but also you want just books that they're excited to read. And Unicorns Are the Worst is cool because it's about a gnome. No, yeah, he's a goblin. That's what he is. I was like, is he a gnome? No, he's a goblin. And it's just him talking about why unicorns are the worst. And in the end, the unicorn helps them out. So maybe unicorns aren't always bad. All right, so let's talk about core knowledge. So core knowledge here is like, so this is one of the books from core knowledge. And this is a fantastic resource for like 18 bucks. If you didn't want to, it's an entire curriculum in for $18, like $18 from grade preschool to grade six. They have these books that I'm not kidding you, is an entire curriculum. Is it the most flashiest thing you've ever met? No, but it teaches the children. It teaches your kids what they need to know. It's like an entire textbook. So that's about Adams. This is about the math they need to know. It just teaches them every single time. That's the American Revolution. So it's got stories in here. Like look, at it's got synonyms and antonyms. So it really teaches everything they need to know. This is Treasure Island. Okay, so it's just one of the resources to consider. And on Core Knowledge, on their website, what they have is, let me take, let me show you here. You can go right at the top of their website is download free curriculum. So this is the book I was looking at. Well, I have the fourth grade one I just happened to find, but this is what your fifth grader needs to know. But it's an entire curriculum in there. So if for some reason you wanted that, and then it's got all this free curriculum because it's made for children who go to regular school who may be missing something. And then you go through, it's got preschool, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, all of these, and they're pretty beautifully done. So if you didn't want to spend a penny on school or you just wanted to spend it on maybe, on maybe some extra cool stuff, 
here's the, the five senses. So let's take a look at the five senses. So I'm gonna download, you can download the whole unit or you can download, it's got image cards, it's got, they come with a lot of cool stuff. The read aloud anthology, the supplemental guide, it usually has a parent thing and a teacher unit and um, an instructor unit and a, an instructor manual and a teacher manual. So it's got a flip book. So it just has some cool stuff. So you can download the PDF version or you can purchase the printed version. So download the PDF and let's see, look how pretty it is. Now, in order to really fully utilize this, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need an ink tank, an ink tank printer. If you get an ink, yeah, an ink tank is what it's called, not ink jet, ink tank, where you can print 7,800 pages for how much you're asking for 40 bucks worth of ink. I know because I have one and I tell you when I say it changed my life, I understand you think that I'm being crazy. No, it really did. It really did change my life. But anyway, as you can see, like they're full on curriculums and they're very interesting, they're very good. Um, so it just depends what you're looking for. And you could separate them into geography, into history, into language arts. So let's do yay or nay. I'm hurrying up because I hear my kids, they're about to finish an activity and I hear them and they're gonna need me. So I'm like rushing through this. Okay, so this is my yay. My yay today is epic, my epic life word book. Unique, the only one of its kind. Pity, a feeling of sadness for someone else. Relate, understand someone because of, or of something in common. And this is daily six trait writing. This is a nay because this is grade one. I'm not saying it doesn't have helpful, useful information. The problem is, is that at this point, I don't want my children worrying about sentence structure. I'd rather use copy work for that, and I'd rather at this young age of kindergarten, grade one, grade two, I want them just to have a love of writing and a love of reading. So although it's very good, like organization, it's just, this is a nay for me. This is a nay. So I'm gonna keep it and use it maybe when they're older. All right, guys, that's my video today. Take care and have a good one. Lock, do it again. Is it fun? There you go. Wave hi to me. Say hi to mom. I'm gonna check on you. What, you're getting away from me?